Hi there, welcome to another edition of Bustanet. My name is Rashidi and today we're going to take another look at Prozone, um, how I use it to fine tune some of my system, my systems that I use. Uh, we are using the Defiant, the control version of um, the tactic at the start of this game against Milan. But to be honest, um, that, tank, that control version lasted all of about 30 minutes before I had to change it to counter-attacking because Milan were actually um, a lot more attacking than I was and my fullbacks were spending more time defending than they were attacking and that was not good. So I switched over to counter-attacking and what I did then was to take a very long hard look at these two players, 14 and 15. Um, we don't have a lot of pace, so there's no point me, you know, pushing up and using a control system against a team that is a lot better than we were. So I thought, okay, I'll hit them on the counter. So I, I turn to pro zone. I go down to players. I uh, choose my player. In this case, it's Alessandro, Alessandro Gazi. Then I look at the passes and I choose this option, which is receive to show the screen. And then once I'm on this screen, what I do is um, I usually make notes during the game anyway. So, but then if I don't have those notes and I just want to check, then I just click on a highlight here to see whether or not Ghazi, in this case, the, the CM on the left is around to lend support to other players. And as you can see there, he did just what I was expecting him to do. And again, um, I do the same thing and I look around to see whether the link up play between my players is correct, whether or not people are moving in and around and supporting each other. Same thing I did with uh, Benazi as well, who's the other player on the right side, the on the right side of midfield. This is Gazi. They're working together, Benazi and Gazi, and Benazi here links up with the AM on the right side of the pitch. So this means that my system is not isolated. I'm happy with what I'm seeing. I'm looking at my fullbacks to see whether they're in the right position to make interceptions and tackles. So in the first half, uh, we got Moscati, who's my right back. And um, here I'm looking at his interceptions. So there. Interceptions give me a very good idea of whether my defensive line is too high or too low. That defensive line is perfect against them, so I didn't don't have to adjust them anymore. So playing counter was just the right balance for us. And the same thing again uh, with the other fullback to see whether or not he's in the right place to make the kind of interceptions. I, I want to make sure that my flanks aren't too exposed and whether or not my defensive line has the right setting. So here again, I'll offer throw in. Uh, naturally, I wanna, I'm want more worried about the other flank. Um, I have a lies in the right spot again. So that gives me a good indication that I'm playing with the right defensive flank on my side. To be honest with all of you, I do not turn to pro zone every five seconds to see whether we're doing the right thing or not. Because I, wanna, I don't want to play the game like that. That's going to be a complete waste of my life. I, I, I go through the game quickly. At half time, you know, if things don't work out well, okay, I make changes. And I look at pros on a bit more in detail. And I look at my players, their receptions or passes, which is really important to me because I need to know that they're moving to the right places. And that will give me a good idea whether or not the system is the right system I'm using. Whether or not the players are making the right off the ball runs. And whether or not my interceptions in midfield and my fullbacks are intercepting the balls in the right places. That, to me, is more important. I do not make changes every five seconds. That's ridiculous. I only make it at halftime or if something is really bad. I started the game and I'm under the, and I'm under a lot of pressure in the first 15 minutes. Then maybe, yeah, I might look at Prozone and go like, oh, is there something really wrong with some of my players? Uh, it, usually, you can just look at the screen and you'll know, I have to drop my defensive line. I have to go to counter. So on the whole, that's what I do with Prozone. So there we go, just some of the stuff I do in preseason to take a look at my tactic. Um, of course, I don't spend a lot of time on Prozone. I just spend enough for me to get some idea what to do in terms of defensive lines and closing down some support on the areas of the pitch that are most prone to being attacked. In, my, in this case, I know that when I use my four, when I use Defiant, um, the flanks are going to be particularly vulnerable. So I need to make sure that my two uh, uh, my two central midfielders here, they do the right job in supporting the fullbacks as well as the attacking players. And now it's time for me to go into the first game of the season. <laughs> I've um, asked my assistant manager to let me know who he thinks should start the game. And um, he's coming with some suggestions, so, well, 
we'll see how this goes with his suggestions. Of course, I I changed one of them. I like the Gazi Benazi um, combination in uh, midfield. We gotta keep trying that out. We're playing a five three two. Wow. Here we go. First game of the season, and we're off. Uh, let's do the highlights and key. That should be fine. And I'm just looking at shots at goal, and so far we've made some decent shots at goal so far. So, yeah, we'll leave it there. No need to panic. Zappa Costa, what a play! Did you see that cross? Oh, okay, we're off to a well. We're off to a good start. There's um in terms of um why do I go counter? Why do I go control? I'm at home, so I'm more comfortable attacking them. My team isn't very good, so I'm not gonna go attacking just yet. It's still too early in the season for me to become a full fledged attacking force. My players are averaging 11 and 12 for pace, and that's not really very fast. In terms of first touch, we've got like 13, 12 to 13 in my team. Okay, average. Some of them are at 14, but still um, not something um, that is great. Now you can see Danilo Avelo doing so badly with his pass and giving the ball away. All right, uh, maybe I will go counter. Why did I just go counter? Um, okay, I will explain why I'm going counter. It's very simple. Um, yeah, I'm leading. Oh, Defiant has got no counter version, so I will not go counter. All right, so Defiant doesn't have a counter version. I'm not going to make one on the fly. I'm just going to play this and see how this pans out. If I wanted to change the counter, I'd have to make just a few short changes. All right, so I'm doing okay. Um, match stats, eight to five. Let's look at my average positions of my team without the ball in the first forty-five minutes for Torino. Mm. I'm looking at my average positions for my players. Um, I wish I could change the color for this, um, for the opposite side. You can look at Livorno, they're sitting really deep. Um, just no, They're pretty compact here and they're just launching two balls to the guys up front and hoping that they can get to do something with the ball. So what I'm going to do is, and they're never going to come out right. So. Let's change tactics. Mm. Okay, so we can afford to change to this one. Only problem is I forgot who plays where. All right, now we got Joel Obi. He can come in for Maxi Lopez. Quagliara can go up. That should be fine. That's basically all the players. Instructions I have for control, stay on feet, play out of defense, look for overlap and work more into box. Okay, that should be fine. So let's go to team talk. Tell the players that things are going well. And here we go with the second half with a new system in play. I'm gonna watch it extend it for a while. As you can see, um, there is some. I have some concerns about Danilo Alava. It's in preseason; he didn't play very well either. He tends to give the ball away quite easily, so we may change things. Uh, we may substitute take him off and put in Gaston Silva for him. So I have a bit more faith with Gaston Silva than I have with Danilo Alava. Zabra Costa is out on. He's got good support. He can play the ball back if he wants to, but obviously he feels that that was a much better move. 
Obi's condition. Uh, Obi has just come out from injury as well. And um, we will give him a decent 45 minutes before taking him off. So I would consider this match a pretty decent warm-up for the rest of the season. The players are looking pretty comfortable on the ball. Uh, there have been a few errors um, with uh, passing. It's been s Some of the passing has been slack, but th that will only get better. Um, the system seems to be working fine for me. Um, I can make it a lot more attacking towards the end of the, s towards the, end of the season. But for now, we're going to keep it at this level and um, there will be no stress. As you can see, um, the opposition were playing with basically two isolated strikers up front and that gave me that made me realize I can change systems to a 4141 um at no risk because um they're not coming out to attack me and if I play with a 4141 I can afford to camp in their half I still have a two bags of four to defend with. So yeah why not? Well, that's uh, the first game of the season gone. A one nil win from Torino, their first um, win of the season. Uh, we used the four one four one. We made minimal changes. I showed you when, how I used it at, for the halftime to see that the opposition were just playing with two guys up front, and the rest were, you know, the rest were still in their half. So that gave us a choice. Uh, we could go with a four one four one, which is what I did, and um, to try to have a bit more fun. I hope you've enjoyed this edition of BusterNet. I know it's a simple look at the ProZone, but I don't want to spend too much time on it because um, ProZone is valuable, but um, it doesn't warrant more than a few shows because you guys are smart enough to figure out how to use it. If you have still have questions, uh, you know where to find me. You can drop me a note at addictedtofm.com or drop me a note here on YouTube. If you enjoyed this show, please subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I hope to see you again soon, very soon. Bye-bye.